is planning to axe 1,700 jobs and close two mail centres in London. Well, our reporter Mark Ashdown uh, joins us with more details. Mark, first of all, do we know what kind of job? Uh, well, yes, Royal Mail has been undergoing some of the biggest changes in its history, really. This has been going on over some time, both to the technology it uses to deliver our mail and the working practices of its staff. Uh, this is the biggest single announcement that we've had, 1,700 jobs, as you say, and that's made up of 1,000 managers plus 700 frontline jobs here in London. Uh, I've been speaking to the unions and Royal Mail over the past few minutes, and it's been confirmed now by Royal Mail that these centres we're talking about are nine elms in Battersea in South London, 1,000 jobs to go from there. And in East London, the East London Centre in Bromley by Bow, about 700 jobs there, but also services scale back at other centres across London as well. And has there been any reaction from the unions? Yeah, we've been talking to the unions. Obviously, there's going to be some uh, speculation, really, until it is confirmed uh, exactly what is happening. They claim uh, that Mount Pleasant, the flagship here in central London, is also going to be scaled back by 55% full-time staff there. I have to say, I spoke to Royal Mail, they haven't confirmed that uh, as yet. But certainly the unions say they will take some kind of action. I mean, you remember, we see some pictures now of uh, a few years ago, uh, there were some quite... Uh, serious strikes. We had letter boxes uh, closed up, big backlogs of posts when uh, staff went on strike in protest about these job cuts. Um, Royal Mail does say, though, this is uh, the biggest restructuring they've ever uh, undertaken, and they say it is crucial uh, for the future survival of uh, the company. Yes, we're just seeing those pictures that you were referring to. Mark, thanks very much indeed. Just to recap, 1,700 jobs, Royal Mail says, uh, are to go, and it's closing two mail centres in London. Thank you.